Today we are bringing you one of a kind revert story. We are referring to the story of none other than Leif Shekne, a 30 year long priest of Swedish church whose story of conversion to Islam has recently surfaced. So basically, Leif Shekne is 77 years old priest who served as a priest for 30 years in the Saudi city Young Shopping has become a Muslim. However, there's a bit of twist here. There has recently been a documentary release about Leif Shengye's journey that reveals that the 77 years old priest had already converted in the year 2017, which came as a surprise, not only to the general public, but to the church staff as well, given that a priest had become a Muslim long before he left the Church of Sweden. One of his friends, Parj Persian, was present at the press screening of the documentary. He says, I still have a hard time understanding how Leif could convert. He was in the church for 30 years, but we are still just as good friends. Leif Shenye grew up in also Norway, where he moved to Schmiede Bakken in 1984, where he worked as a priest in Norrbake Parish until 1986. He came to work in Skellingeris Pastorate where he was mainly a minister in Acker and Hangschult. Later on, Shkenye worked a lot in Hanger Dennis as a priest on pension. During his time as a priest in the Church of Sweden, Shkenye had a chance to work with refugees and their issues. One of those refugees was a Muslim man named Abdullah. Shkenye got a chance to live with him, and they eventually became good friends. He calls me his dad. His biological father is dead. We lived together for a year and a half, said Shkenye. During his time with Abdullah, Shkenye got a chance to study Islam closely. Abdullah was a devoted Muslim, and he prayed five times a day, coupled with the rest of the duties that came with Islam. This gave way for the 77-year-old ex-priest, then 74-year-old, to study the teachings of Islam. Christianity and Islam have a lot in common, starting from the same God. The only strong dividing lines are Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon him. However, Islam does contain all the teachings of Christianity. In recent decades, there have been many flared up incidents due to extremist movements and so. Muslims households throughout the world have been at the receiving end of unpleasant behavior. He got a chance to live with the Moroccan refugee Abdullah because apparently Abdullah was not a fan of refugee housing. However, after living with him for a year and a half, there were several exclusion decisions. I was not surprised when they finally expelled him, said Leif Shekne. It is reported that it was in the autumn of 2017 when Leif Shekne accepted Islam, while he was living with Abdullah, he changed his name to Ahmed Shekne. Moving forward, Ahmed made a major decision, moved to Morocco, and started living as a pensioner. Many people have converted to Islam. However, I may be the first priest in Scandinavia to have gone that route, says Ahmed Shekne. After his conversation became public, Many people from the church management were sent for him. But when a priest that old makes a decision to convert, you can only believe that it's a well-thought decision. The only change is the language here. Arabic is difficult and I don't know much. The climate is good with around 35 degrees, he said. I go to the mosque occasionally because it has been difficult due to the ongoing pandemic situation, Ahmad added. The documentary that came out about his conversion is named as The Confession. It became possible when two people, Thomas Bilderman and Alex Bolivan, followed Ahmed for years. The documentary has already had a significant impact. Ahmed Shikne did not make an announcement because of his past. He did serve as a priest for a major part of his adult life. A decision like this had the potential of affecting many people in my surroundings. I didn't want that to happen, said Shekne. 
He accepted Islam, moved to Morocco, and started living as a retired priest on pension. Mr. Ahmad Shekne currently lives in Fez, Morocco, with the Moroccan refugee, Abdullah. Stories like this Ahmad Shekne's are a direct voucher from Allah. When the Creator above wills, everything else becomes irrelevant. We have nothing but the best wishes and prayers for Ahmad Shekne. May Allah continue to guide us all. Amin.